Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today, we are going to be doing some 3D printing with dissolvable support material, namely high impact polystyrene or HIPS filament. This is going to allow us to print objects which would normally be impossible to print. Take, for example, this Hilbert cube. This is a very complex part with many completely horizontal overhangs. These overhangs would require support material that would be removed afterwards, which would be a difficult thing to do normally. With dissolvable support, however, you don't have to worry about being able to reach in with pliers. You can just soak the part in a solvent to remove all of that support material. So let me load up my dual extruder with both ABS and hips, and let's get to some printing. So here's the finished print. You can see that it turned out pretty well for absolutely no calibration with the uh, the hips filaments. So I'm going to try to peel it off the print bed. It's been a few minutes, the print bed's cooled down, so I should just be able to lift it off. Oh, you can hear it cracking. Hopefully that's the good kind of cracking and not the bad kind. And there we go. So if we just take a few seconds to look at the path of the blue filament, you know, the model that we're actually printing, you can see how much of a pain it would be without some kind of dissolvable support material. Trying to remove ABS supports from this would be almost impossible. So hopefully, if the HIPS actually works as I expect it to, this could be a very useful tool for later prints that I'm planning on doing. And if you haven't seen this extruder in use before, this is the Itty Bitty Flex Dual Extruder. You can click on the screen or in the link in the description below for my video on printing this and putting this on my printer if you're interested in that. So before we go and try to dissolve all of this support material, I want to see how much of it we can pull off. Because obviously, if we can pull it off, it's much better than waiting for it to dissolve. And that's less limonene use and you know less time needed for that. And I heard that the HIPS filament doesn't actually adhere to the ABS well at all. Like it's, it pretty much does not bond. So I'm curious to see if it's easy just to grab it and pull it out. So let's give that a try first. Let's see if I just grab this. Yeah, I can see how it just pulls right off of the corner there. Although that's not really a, a good indication. So let's try to grab up here and see if we can pull it out. I can grab the bottom and the bottom portion pulls off pretty easily. So let's try to grab up here. Oh yeah, you can see how it just kind of pulls away from the ABS right there. Yeah, so you can see how it just kind of pulls away. So let's see if I can get another grip on this and just kind of wiggle it back and forth and see if we can, yeah, see that removes with absolutely no issue whatsoever. So this would be perfect even if you're not planning on dissolving this in the limonene. If you can just print your support material uh, using the HIPS filament, that would make your life a lot easier. Let me see if I can remove a little bit more and see if we can get some, some better video of that. Yeah, this kind of just peels right away from the ABS. That is beautiful. And we can see that all of the surfaces which use the support material, so underneath here and along the sides that was actually touching the supports, uh, you can see that there's no longer the white kind of discoloring that you would see if you're using normal ABS and then peeled off the support from ABS. It tends to leave a discolorment as the stress, uh, you know, propagates through the, the plastic. And that that does not happen here with the hips, except for the portions like up in this top corner uh, where I nicked it with the pliers trying to pull it out. Um, so that is a perfect use um, for the hips filament is not getting that discolorment where the support material attaches. So the chemical we can use to dissolve the high impacts polystyrene is limonene. And this is basically made from the oils from orange peels. 
uh, they take the orange peels, they crush it, uh, they press it and extract all the oils, and that's how limonite is made. And it has a very, obviously, orange smell. Um, and what you can need is you need some kind of container that the limonene won't dissolve in order to hold it. Um, one common household plastic that you can use if you don't have a giant glass jar around is uh, PET or PETE. They're the same thing. It's a plastic most commonly found on uh, like two liter bottles, like Coke bottles and uh, fruit juice bottles, that kind of stuff. Uh, just take it and look at the bottom and look for PET or PETE. Um, and you can use that to uh, pour your limonene into and it won't dissolve away. I just have an old fruit juice bottle here that I cut the top of and I'm going to use that to store it while I put the print in. So this is what the part looks like before. I gave up removing some of the support material because I want to see how easily it dissolves. So you can see that the areas that I did remove the support to material, it was really easy to do so. Um, but for a lot of the interior stuff, you're not going to actually be able to remove yourself. And I'm curious to see how the limonene actually dissolves it. So I just left a lot of the support material on here. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Let's open up the limonene and see how it dissolves. Okay, so we have some pure limonene here. Let's take our prints and just dunk it in and see what happens. So from what I've read on the internet, it really helps if this is a little heated, I don't have a heater on hand, and if there's constant motion in order to get fresh limonene um, to the support material. I don't exactly have that either, but I can sit here and I can shake it and uh, see what happens after a few minutes. So an hour later, we can see that the limonene is pretty cloudy, so it's starting to dissolve something, and the hips filament is looking a little gooey. It's kind of hard to see through the camera, but you can tell that it is starting to dissolve. It looks a little, little more rounded, and you can't see all of the layers. Um, so it's going to take some time to actually dissolve this away. So I'm going to leave this overnight, and we'll come back in the morning and see if it's all dissolved. So I left it sitting overnight, and it looks like all of the supports have dissolved away. Let me grab it and give it a little shake and try to clear it out some. But yeah, it looks like a lot of, or all of the support has been dissolved. It's been about nine hours since I put it in. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long it takes for all that to dissolve. I'm going to have to do some other time trials and test it out in the future. But uh, let's get this out of the limonene bath and see what it looks like. And for storage, I just have another small liter bottle of PETE. I'm just going to pour this in. Uh, hopefully, I'll get some glass mason jars or something like that for some better long-term storage. But this should work for the moment. And you can see just how cloudy the limonene got uh, with all of the support material dissolved in it. Um, It'll be good to see how many uses this can go through, how many times that we can reuse this limonene before it starts to leave defects on the material or anything like that. But that'll take, you know, a lot more experiments to figure out. So here is the finished product after the limonene has been wiped off of it and it's been rinsed in a water bath. And you can see that there's no discoloration of the ABS itself. I was worried that maybe the limonene would eat away some of the pigments. Um, some people online have said that the limonene will give a like a gray or white coloring uh, coating over the ABS. I did not experience that with this particular filament. And you can see that the print is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, if you look at some of the, this is the top portion, so this is the, the bottom of the print area. And so if we take a look at underneath, where the ABS was printed directly on the hip supports, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. This uh, kind of dissolvable support material is exactly what I was looking for for some later projects that I'm planning on doing. So there we go. That is my first print using HIPS high impact polystyrene as a dissolvable support material. The plastic's really cheap. It costs about the same as the ABS plastic and it print beautifully. I didn't have to do any kind of strange calibrations. I just put it through my machine using the same settings that I did with uh, ABS. Um, so it was really quick and simple to put up. The, uh, the limonene dissolving worked beautifully. So I, 
I'd give that a try. If you have a dual extruder and you've been wondering what kind of material um, you want to do with dissolvable supports, uh, give HIPS a try. It's cheap. It's efficient. Let's see what kind of awesome you guys have done. So thank you guys for watching. If you have used dissolvable support material before, please leave a comment down below. I'd be curious to see what your experiences were of dissolvable support material, uh, what material you used, anything like that. I would love to get a conversation going about this. So thank you guys for watching. Leave those comments, like the video if you liked the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.